Shalom, shalom, precious saints, and greetings to each one of you. This is your host, Sister Dalila Dush Santos, here to deliver the word of our Lord Jesus without compromise. I invite you all to hide under the shadow of the Most High God and seek refuge. Greetings, greetings on this wonderful day. As a matter of fact, kingdom greetings to each one of you. Matimu Yakuhula, greetings to you. Shalom, shalom, Kev. Shalom, Kali. Kali Capris, Shalom Sister Martha, Shalom Sister Yvonne, Shalom Sister Kathy Risk, Shalom Sister Brandy, Shalom Sister Brenda, welcome, Shalom Sister Dolores Edwards, Seven, Shalom Brother Just King J, Shalom Sister Sharia Williams, Shalom Brother Sister China, Shalom Sister Jacqueline, Sister Myrna Rita, Shalom, Shalom Sister Magdalena. Shalom, Sister Dolores. Welcome. Welcome, Agnes Gajolan. Shalom, 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 Sister Jacqueline. Once again, shalom, shalom, Sister Susan. Shalom, Sister Carly. Welcome. Shalom, precious saint. Shalom, Mami Waboy. Shalom, Sister Pam. Shalom and greetings. Shalom, shalom, shalom on this wonderful day. Sister Diana, welcome. Shalom. Shalom, Sister Agnieszka. Jolanta Do, Shalom, Brother Brown, Shalom, Shalom, Sister Myrna, Shalom, Sister Lorian, Our Sunshine, Shalom, Sly, Shalom, Patrick, Shalom, Sister Favor, Shalom, Sunset Orchid, Shalom, Shalom, Sister Kiana, Shalom, Brother Jadas. Shalom, saints. Shalom and greetings. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Precious saints, um, the title for this live stream today is Demonic Possession. Demonic Possession. Sister Michelle Clark, shalom, shalom. Sister Titi Toure, shalom. Sister Imelda, shalom. Starlight, shalom and greetings. Brother Tyrone, welcome. Shalom. Shalom, Brother Andrew, shalom. Light Warrior 81. Precious Saints, title for the live stream today. Demonic possession. Demonic possession. It is important, saints, especially those of you that are learning about the occult. You are learning about witchcraft, about the, the, the works of darkness. It is extremely important as believers to understand what is demonic possession. This is a very important subject, saints, and we have to understand because on these last days, saints, you're going to have many people around you that will be demonically possessed. And um, it is important that you know how to deal with demonic possession and how to cast out demons and also i want you to understand what legal rights um do people um enter into agreement with what legal rights do the the, the people give to the enemy that allows them to be possessed so i want you to understand that so that you will know how to protect yourself protect your family members all right the knowledge that i'm going to give you today is always based on biblical facts I'm not coming here with my opinions. I'm coming here with the word of God. Okay, saints, and we're going to go to the word of God and the Lord will speak to you. But it is important as a believer that you understand demonic possession because you're going to encounter through your life many people that are going to be demonically possessed. And some of them, you're going to be able to cast out the demon because you're going to have a, you, some, some of them will be your own family members. And you're gonna have to know how to go into warfare mode, but in, in in it is important that you understand what is demonic possession. Okay, okay, saints, and I want you to please do get your Bibles, pen, and papers to write um, the scriptures down. Okay, and Sister Althea, welcome, shalom, shalom, Sister Joanna, Sister Little Boho, shalom, shalom, those of you just joining, Sister Miss S as well, um, Sister Miss S, make sure please invite Sister sister selma to join us it's important that she comes all right i'm gonna try to see if we can sh if i can share the live stream with her i don't know if i can but i'll try um let me see if she's here well i can't share it with her because i'm limited but Please, Sister Miss S, 
share it with Sister Selma. I really, really want her to come to the live stream. It is important that she comes and participates. Sister Esther, welcome. Greetings. Greetings, saints. So today, topic for the live stream. Thank you, Miss S. God bless you, my sister. Sister Monica from South Africa, welcome, my sister. Um, precious saints, get to, do get your Bibles ready, pen and papers. I am extremely sorry I was slightly late, but sometimes I do get messages and, and, and I have to listen to them. But not only that, I am following what is going on in my country back home in Mozambique. The civil unrest and everything that has been going on and it is really upsetting. But nevertheless, saints, these are the signs of the end times and we are all ready, saints, now today to receive the word of the Lord. I'm sure we are all here ready. But precious saints, we are today going to learn a bit more about demonic possession what leads what makes a person a demoniac a person that is possessed by demons what happens in a person's life that demons begin to take control over a person and use a person as a vessel amen amen sister Jacqueline hallelujah so get your bibles ready we're gonna consecrate this live stream unto the lord i want to greet sister yinka that has just joined um, Ismael, um, everyone saints, attacked by sinus infection today. Sister Little Bo will receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And anyone with a sinus infection, you are healed and you were restored by the blood of Yeshua Yamashia, the perfect blood of the Lamb that takes away the sins of this world. Sister Kita, welcome. Welcome, Sister Glow. Welcome, welcome, saints. And I hope you are doing well today, saints. And who is not well? You will be well in Jesus' name. Sister Celine, welcome. Boyd Seppo, welcome. Precious saints, I've got also quite... I have two powerful testimonies to share with you today. And let's say three testimonies because, you know, yeah, three. All right, saints. So um, be expecting something wonderful today that will uplift your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Abba Father, King of glory, everlasting God, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us today, Lord God. We thank you, Father Lord, for allowing us to see another day, Lord God. We thank you for preserving our lives and the lives of each one of our family members. Thank you, Father Lord, for feeding us, clothing us, providing a roof over our heads. Thank you, Father Lord, for not allowing us to go hungry or begging bread. Thank you, Father Lord, for safety, Lord God. Thank you, Father Lord, for your constant presence in our lives. But above all, Lord God, we thank you for the gift of salvation, for the assurance that we have that the day we close our eyes in the land of the living, we will be instantly transported into your presence, into your bosom for eternity. And Father Lord, there is no greater joy. Father Lord, there is no greater blessing than knowing that, Lord, you are preparing a better place for us. And one day we will be with you in paradise. So we want to thank you for choosing us, Lord God, for choosing us, Father Lord, to have this great fellowship with you, Lord God. We want to thank you, Lord God, and we want to worship you, Lord God, and we want to elevate your name, Lord God, and we want to praise you with all our hearts, our souls, and our spirits, Lord God, for what you have done in the past, Lord God, for what you are doing, Lord God, and for what you are about to do, Lord God. We honor and bless your name, Lord God, and we are indeed blessed to have you, Father Lord, as, as the source of our strength, as the source of all our being, Lord God. So, Father Lord, we thank you for your presence we thank you for your holy ghost that keeps us encouraged that keeps us motivated to keep searching for you to keep serving you to keep surrendering to you day in and day night and father lord i pray that today lord god as we are all gathered here in your presence father lord reveal your will for us reveal your perfect purpose for us today don't let us father lord follow things that are not in agreement with your will for us don't let us waste time 
time with things that are not connected to our purpose. But Father, Lord, I pray for divine revelation today, Lord God, that you will reveal your perfect will for each one of us that we are gathered here today. And Father, Lord, as we surrender our hearts, our souls, our spirits, and our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, we ask you, Father, Lord, that you will forgive us our sins, our transgressions, all our iniquities up to a thousand generations before us, Lord God. Show yourself merciful, Father Lord. Show yourself absolutely merciful, Father Lord. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness and sins up to a thousand generations before us, Lord God. Cleanse our bloodlines, Lord God. Cleanse us, Father Lord, from everything that is evil and diabolical, Lord God. Running down on our generations, Lord God. And I pray for deliverance today, Lord God. I pray that, Father Lord, you will deliver us with your righteous right hand. That, Father Lord, you will say just one word, Lord Oh God, and our deliverance will be signed, sealed, and delivered by the blood of your son, Jesus. And I'm asking you today that you will bind Satan on this live stream, demons, principalities, rulers of darkness, seeking to steal, kill, destroy, frustrate, separate, divide. Oh, Father Lord, I pray that as you bind them with the everlasting chains of your Holy Ghost fire, that you will cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever, never to manipulate, control, deviate us from your presence, Lord God, ever again. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, I soaked our environments with the precious blood, with your precious blood. I saturate the live stream, Lord Jesus, with your precious blood. I cover each one of us here, Lord Jesus, with your precious blood. And I'm asking you, Lord, manifest your presence, manifest your anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy. Father, Lord, let every shackles of the enemy be broken, be destroyed, and let the captives be set free, Lord God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver us all from the retaliations of the kingdom of darkness. Father, Lord, make us this gathering, Father, Lord, and each one of us here invisible to the kingdom of darkness, Lord God. And I pray for the furtherance of the gospel today, that you will bring many souls today to come to the knowledge of Christ Jesus, to come into repentance, Lord God, into full surrender unto your purpose and will for them, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm asking you as I decrease, increase in me and use me once again as a perfect oracle to convey your message so that your children today will live this life stream empowered, anointed, Lord God, to fight the enemy and win and have the victory, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, as we thank you for what you have done in the past, we glorify you for what you are doing at the moment. And in advance, Lord God, we praise you for what you are about to do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Precious saints, um, let us get to the word of God. But before that, I am urging you once again, as a matter of fact, I am imploring you to please keep liking the live stream. All right? Um, keep liking, keep sharing as the Holy Spirit leads you. Um, keep supporting um, the furtherance of the gospel. Many people need to hear this word, okay? Um, and I need your help. If you are listening on YouTube later on, don't forget to press the like button as well and share as how the Holy Spirit leads you and comment as well. Make sure you are participating. Okay, saints. Hallelujah. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So precious saints, let us go to the book of Mark chapter 5 from verse 1 to 13. Book of Mark chapter 5 from verse 1 to 13 and i want you to understand one thing saints the title for the live stream today is demonic possession today the lord wanted me to come and speak on it and preach about this this topic demonic possession okay let me go to the word again mark 5 from verse 1 to 13 and also thank you moderators for all that you do for us may the good lord bless you and uplift you and continue to aid you to Help us as well. Just remain organized in Jesus' name. A demon-possessed man is healed. Then they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the gatherings. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately there met him out the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no one could bind him not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. And the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces, neither could any one tame him. And always night and day he was in mountains and in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. 
When he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I do to you? What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I implore you by God that you do not torment me. For he said to them, Come out of the man on clean spirit. Then he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Also he begged him earnestly that he would not send them out of the country. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountain. So all the demons begged him, saying, Send us to the swine that we may enter them. And at once Jesus gave them permission. Then the unclean spirits went out and entered the swine. There were about two thousand, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea and drowned in the sea. <clears throat> um, precious saints, I want you to, to understand something. We are living in the last days, right? But this, that this, this encounter with Jesus and the demoniac was not in these last days that we are living now, okay? This was a an incident that was very rare, okay? Um, it was not very common. But today, in these last days, demonic possession is more and more common. As a matter of fact, saints, I believe that 99.9% .9 of human beings in the, on earth today are demonly possessed. Um, and this is because of the 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 the, the, the fact that um no longer god is in charge of many countries religion has been um rejected from schools from governments giving way for satan and demons to occupy those spaces and because god will not force anyone to serve him god will leave man to their own devices but unfortunately saints loads lots and lots of children are possessed through the educational system because of the things that have been taught in school i remember saints that in primary school when my children were in primary school they were reading harry potter every day they bought these harry potter books and they were reading it out to the children and the children were made to read all of these books and what you don't understand is that the devil has infiltrated education he has infiltrated politics social lives social life he has infiltrated even religion saints and the objective here saints is nothing else but to possess to possess and the devil wants to possess people from a young age because these are the people that he will use in the future and that is why you are seeing people capable capable of doing many horrible and hideous things and you sit down and you wonder how can a child be able to do this how can a child and a life dig an, an entire family how can a child do this and do that and you don't understand that these are things that the children are learning at school even when it comes to shakespeare macbeth it is very demonic the some of the, the, the they teach the children about witchcraft about witches about uh, 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 cauldrons about all these different things and what happens is that it sparks in children even more curiosity and you know that children are given uh, ipads and are given uh, the internet access from a very young age so what these children do they go home and they go on google or they go on youtube and they type and they research and we ha then children begin to join the occult then children are not just happy with the books they read at school they want to expand more on what they have been introduced to at school now they are on youtube seeking for videos now they are on websites now it goes to a, a phase where they want to buy occultic books they want to explore more on the occult because the, the, the there is a void that we all have in our in our, inside of us that can only be filled by god and when that void has not been filled by God, there will be a hunger in people. There will be a thirst and a desire for the supernatural. But people, instead of going to God, they, because of what they have been introduced to, they will be going to demons. They will be going to Satan. They will be going to the occult, seeking for answers. All right, saints.
And I just want you to understand that demonic possession is very real. Some of you, you don't understand why you are arguing with people at work. You are now arguing with your family. You are annoyed by family members. You are annoyed by co-workers. And you don't understand that you are not dealing with the person. You are dealing with a vessel that has now become a vessel for demons. You think you are arguing with them, but you are arguing with the demons inside of them because some people are not possessed just by one entity but people are possessed by two three entities even legion and you you are there uh, you 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 think that you are arguing with a human being but you are not arguing with the human being you are arguing with satan you are arguing with demons you are arguing with with demonic things demonic spirits that are speaking through that person that's why you don't understand why you are attacked you minding your business you could be driving going to go home or in the grocery shop and somebody would just come up to you and begin to attack you because the demons recognize the presence of God. They recognize the anointing. They recognize the Holy Ghost and they are uncomfortable when they see the presence of the living God inside of somebody. They are disturbed because what happened in this particular book of Mark chapter five? What happened? The demoniac, he was doing what? He, he, the demoniac was walking in cemeteries, right? He had unclean spirits. And his dwelling was among the tombs. And no one could bind him, not even with chains. Because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. Majority of the people, saints, that are now diagnosed with mental illnesses. is not a mental illness. It's actually demonic possession taking place. Majority of the people that are in, 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 in institutions there are that, that they have mental illnesses, including seizures, including uh, epilepsy and all these different things. It is not just, uh, it is not a disease that the, of the mind, as they want to tell us. It's demonic possession and those people have been tormented, not by one, but by more than two demons, some of them even legions. That's why they have to be put on medication. Some of them have to be shackled. Some of them have to be uh, uh, put on those restraining jackets. Some of them have to be tamed like wild animals. They are dangerous. Some of them, even 10 men cannot handle them. And people think that that is normal mental illness. But what they don't understand is that Satan is trying to normalize demonic possession. Satan is trying to get our cooperation that so that we will not cast out demons, so that we will not uh, call demons demons, but we will call demons uh, diseases of the mind. But, but it's not a disease of the mind is actually demonic possession taking place in a person's life and this demoniac could not be tamed but now when people are admitted in mental institution and, and they are possessed what they do they force them on medication they give them certain things to calm them down to tame them that is what they are doing now and the Bible tells us, verse 5, Then and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying out and cutting himself with stones. How many people, saints, that display, um, majority of people that have a mental illness also have self-harming problems as well. If you are a person that you self-harm, you have the, desi the desire to self-harm, know that, that there is not you. It is a demon inside of you that has the, the, the pleasure to see your blood gushing out and you suffering by injuring yourself because Satan, when he, when he afflicts a body, that person will always have the desire to inflict pain upon themselves. They will want to cut themselves. They will want to hurt themselves because that is what the demon wants to, 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 to do with that person. He wants that person to be in everlasting torture and torment to the extent that they need to hurt themselves. All right, because the spirit inside of the person that is de demonically possessed is crying out for freedom, is crying out for help. And the demons continue to afflict the spirit by afflicting the body, by making that person self-harm themselves. All right, so I'm trying to teach. When Jesus saw the demoniac from afar, when, when the demoniac saw Jesus from afar, what happened? He ran and worshipped him. So Satan knows who is God. Satan respects the power of God. Satan only respects Jesus. 
He has no regard for people. He has no regard for no one, me and you. He only respects the Lordship, the sovereignty of Jesus. That is why the demoniac ran and those demons they had to prostrate and worship the living God. Because they knew that they were in the presence of the Almighty. All right. So precious saints, I'm here just to say this to you. These demoniac people. Okay. They acknowledge the power of God. They don't acknowledge anything else but the power of God. So if you are dealing with someone in your family or perhaps a friend or whatever it is, and you, you know that they are, are afflicted by demons and they have acknowledged the fact that they are possessed by demons, you need to understand that those demons that are possessing that person only have regard for, the, for, the, for Jesus, for the living God, no one else. That's why... Some people, when they notice that they are struggling with demonic possession, they hear voices, they, 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 they don't have control over their lives anymore. What they do, they'll try to medicate and it never works. They will try to go to spiritists, to seances and it never works. They can never have peace. They can never have rest because why? There is no one else in this world that can cast out a demon but Jesus. There is no any anyone else that can tell a demon to live and the live demon will live but Jesus. And when we cast demon demons out, we cast it in the name of Jesus, not because we are better than anyone else. Oh no, or special? No, it is because of faith in Christ Jesus, and we know that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every demon, every evil spirit, even legions, have to listen and leave and vacate that body, that vessel that is the temple of the living God. They need to leave because a command that the, from Jesus is it cannot be 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 negated by any demon demons cannot say no to Jesus when he's in the building he's in the building and they have to respect him and his will all right and his authority and um let us go to verse 7 and he cried out with a loud voice and said what have i to do with you Jesus son of the most high god I implore you by God that you do not torment me. So demons are actually tormented by the presence of Jesus. That is why I say to you, when you enter into buildings, you enter into rooms, you go to places, you don't understand why all of a sudden someone is acting crazy. Someone is talking to you in a very rude way. People begin to manifest the wickedness around you. You don't understand that it's not the people, but it's the evil spirits that are using the, them as vessels that are manifesting as soon as you enter. Because when you enter the building, the building was in darkness. You entered and you brought the light of the world which is jesus you brought the anointing you brought the power of god you brought the holy spirit and that is going to disturb those demons that are in that building or room or whatever place that you have just entered so I want you to understand, next time you enter into a place and people begin to act funny, people begin to act rude, people begin to manifest themselves in a way that is not pleasant, understand that you shouldn't um, uh, give them the same energy. Be wise and know that, look, uh, these people are now manifesting the evil spirits that are in them and me, I'm going to remain calm and collected. I'm going to continue to mind my business and pray. It is Satan that needs to leave my environment. It's not me that should be intimidated by nobody. Okay? And let me tell you something. Demonic possession does not choose people by class, status, education. When a person is demonic possessed, they are demonic possessed. Some people think that this demonic possession only happens in poor people. People who are poor and disadvantaged and from, from poor backgrounds. No, you have rich people that are demonic possessed. You have poor people that are demonically possessed. You have anyone can be possessed by demons. All right. So stop thinking that only people that, that are disadvantaged and, and less fortunate are the ones that can be possessed. Anyone can be possessed. It depends on what doors they have opened to allow because if a person is demonically possessed, they have opened the door. There is something that they did that gave Satan the legal right to possess them and to take ownership of their bodies. And, they, and that means that Satan has a letter of, 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 of occupation to occupy. Satan has permission, has a permit to occupy that vessel because that person did something that allows Satan to have that legal right to possess them. All right, saints, and that is, we're going to continue. I'm going to explain more about that. 
So you can see now that the demons acknowledge the presence of the Most High God. They, they are worshipping the Most High God and are asking the Most High God not to torment it not to torment them and that is exactly what happens when you come into a room or a place and people begin to uh, act tormented or act like you are your very presence in that place is bothering them okay that is actually the demons uncomfortable and feeling the fire of the holy ghost and they are trying to get you out of the picture okay and he answered jesus answered mine no sorry for saints um this live stream has been restricted okay i just got a uh a, 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 a thing from tiktok so if it gets banned you know exactly that we we're gonna have to continue on youtube right yet so tiktok is saying that they don't like this kind of contact they're not happy with it so let me restart let me leave and come back saints all right 